So guys, today I'm going to be telling you some hidden features which is going to make your iPhone usage much more interesting and simple. So let's start with our first feature. So in our phones, there is a lot of information which we commonly use on daily basis like our home or office address or our email ID or like our bank details. And whenever we want to use it, we have to either type it out or we have to search in our messages. And that takes a lot of time. And solution to this problem is available right in your keyboard settings. You just need to go in your keyboard settings and click on the text replacement option and you can keep all the text here which you use on regular basis and link here with a quick shortcut. And then whenever you require that text in your chat or in any website form, you can immediately use it with the help of that shortcut. So in our phones, there are some photos which are either sensitive or are personal to us which we usually don't want anybody else to see in our photo gallery. So for that, you can select your photos here and go into share and then hide your photos. But even after hiding all these photos, all these photos are visible in the hidden folder down here. And those photos your friends are definitely going to check. But in our iPhone, we can actually hide this hidden folder as well. You just need to go to the settings and then you just need to uncheck this hidden folder option here. And then your hidden folder will actually get so the next feature here is definitely going to surprise you because that's a feature of voice isolation which is recently released by Apple. So nowadays we make a lot of video calls in our phones through either WhatsApp call or FaceTime call. And during these calls, if you are at a little bit noisy place, so maybe the other person might not be able to hear your voice very clearly. And with the help of this voice isolation feature, you can actually mute the background noise and the other person can listen your voice much more clearly. Sorry, I can't hear your voice. Yeah, your music is loud here. Uh, wait, let me turn on the uh, voice isolation. Okay. So can you hear me now better? Yeah, it's good. It's better. Music is still playing, but uh, I think now the voice is much more clear. Okay, yeah, it's so clear. So all you need to do is, while you are on call, you just need to go to control center and in this mic mode option, you just need to switch from standard mode to voice isolation mode. And then the magic happens, your voice will actually become quite clear. So do try this feature in your phone. So now let's talk about our next feature. After the latest update of iOS 15, you get another very useful feature in your FaceTime calls. So while you are on any FaceTime audio or video calls, you can actually go and press this button here and you can live share your phone screen with any of your friends and family. And you can use this feature to show any of the photos or videos to all the friends together. And even I use this feature sometimes to explain my parents like how to share the location or a photo on WhatsApp or let's say how to even block a spam caller in your phone. So with the help of this feature, I was able to explain them quite easily. So why don't you try this feature as well? So we all use our face ID function so many times in a day. But the major drawback of that function was that it didn't used to work with our face mask on. And that can surely get a bit irritating at times. But with the latest iOS 15.4 update, you can now unlock your phone while wearing a face mask. So to enable that, you just need to update your software and go to your settings and enable the option of use face ID with mask and reset your face ID. And after that, you can unlock your phone even with a face mask. So another cool feature which you should must try is a back tap feature in which you can enable double tap or triple tap and link with any of the shortcuts in your phone. So here I use my double tap function to open the camera quickly and I use the triple tap function to open my book app. But by the way, you can use this feature in a lot of many ways. Like if you want to quickly call someone or just to quickly open an app which you use frequently like Instagram, YouTube or Netflix. And even you can create a new shortcut and link with it. So it's very easy to set this as well. You just need to go to settings, accessibility and touch where you can set the double tap and triple tap function as per your requirement. So the next function here is very important for you and your family. Because with this, if you press the power button, you get this additional medical ID option in your phone through which anybody can access your basic necessary details and can actually reach out to your emergency contacts very easily without unlocking your phone. And this function can actually be very useful if our phone gets lost and it's not reachable. And it can be very useful in any emergency situation as well. And it's very easy to set this as well. You just need to go to your health app, then click on your profile and then tap on your medical ID. And you can fill your basic details here, which you want anybody to access at the time of emergency. So I hope you like this video. And if you want to watch more interesting videos like this, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you have any queries or doubts, do let us know in the comments below. And if you are looking for some great iPhone accessories, do check the video here. And check out our other latest videos right here. So thank you for now. I'll see you in the next video.